Okay everyone, this is going to be an A to Z walkthrough on how to set up Elite Signals with the new 3Bot configuration. First what we're going to do is go to the left navigation bar and hit subscriptions. We're going to want to buy three subscriptions, two explorer hoppers, and one adventure hopper. We're going to do that by adding new subscription. Subscribe now. I'm going to be paying with my balance monthly. And then I'm going to add one adventure hopper. Again, I'm going to, for this demonstration, be paying monthly. Now that you have all three of your subscriptions, what we're going to do is go over to the marketplace and go to signals. We can type in the top here, killer whale, hit the search bar. Then we can sort by signals search again we're going to go to elite signals and we're going to subscribe to elite signals again for this demonstration I'm going to be paying with balance now you can see we have two explorer hoppers and one adventure hopper now what we're going to do is be making our hoppers by clicking on the your hoppers button in the top left corner we're going to add a new hopper create trading hopper First bot we're going to create is going to be KuCoin USDT, so we will select that. For this demonstration, we're going to be doing paper trading. You will have to add your API keys, and the most secure and uh, data driven way is to create sub accounts for each one. Then we're going to add a new hopper again. This time it's going to be KuCoin BTC. Go ahead and select. Again, we're doing paper trading for this demonstration. And then one more time, we're going to go view all your hoppers, add a new hopper, create trading hopper, and then this one will be KuCoin ETH. You can actually just sort by KuCoin over here. That'll make it easier for you. Again, paper trading for this demonstration. Now you have all three of your bots created with each of the base currencies that we're looking for. Next step will be going back to the marketplace, going to templates, then we're going to again search killer whale in the search bar up top. We're going to sort by templates this time and then we are going to download the three templates that we need for elite so we will download elite KuCoin template which is our USDT template download with auto update then we will go back to killer whale again we'll just sort by templates hit search the next one we're looking for is the elite BTC template click on it again download and auto update all templates for killer whale are free and then we will once again search just by templates killer whale and now we're looking for the elite ETH template right here download and auto update. Now you have all three templates and all three bots ready to rock. So we'll come back over to our dashboard and we'll begin setting them up. Once you get back to your dashboard, then we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna go view all our your hoppers and then make sure our subscriptions are assigned to the correct hopper. So we're going to go ahead and change the two that are not correct and then switch them around with the proper subscription so that the adventure hopper is on the USDT bot and the ex two explorer hoppers are on both Ethereum and BTC then we're going to hit save and now we can move into our configuration process first bot we're going to configure is the KuCoin USDT bot so on your left navigation bar we will click on KuCoin USDT 
we will come over to base config config base config and then in the top right corner with the actions tab what we're going to do is we're going to load template so when you click load template make sure you look for the elite KuCoin which will be your USDT template click load template once the template is loaded then you can come over to coins and amounts if you're using an adventure hopper you'll need to select 50 coins off of our top suggested coin list in discord we're going to be running signals only and then just a run through of the basic settings here feel free to pause the screen if you need these are the base settings for your elite USDT bot now that that is configured we will go to the elite Bitcoin bot and we will do the same thing we'll go to the actions tab in the top right corner load template then we're going to do elite BTC load template again if you're using an adventure subscription or Explorer subscription you'll need to pick your top 15 or up to the 43 that we have on the suggested coins list and add them or remove them manually and just to run through the settings feel free to pause the screen if you need And then we're again going to go over to the Elite KuCoin for Ethereum. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go to Actions, Load Template. We're going to load the Elite Ethereum Template, Load Template. A quick run through of the correct settings, Buy Settings, coins and amounts if you are running Explorer you will need to manually remove whatever coins you do not wish to trade off of the coins on the selected coins you're gonna want to make sure your settings match what is up on the screen currently Okay, next step, we're going to go back to our Elite KuCoin USDT bot, and then we're going to manually add some paper trading funds for this demonstration. We're doing paper trading. So then we will deposit into our accounts USDT, recommended minimum amount is going to be 10,000. Click deposit deposit complete and then you can enable your hopper as soon as you enable your hopper it will reset your stats you can actually go ahead and click this reset button right here to set it back to zero now you are running fresh once you have added funds to your account then we can come back over to the elite Bitcoin bot We can deposit into our Bitcoin bot, BTC. Recommended minimum is going to be about $2,500, but for this demonstration, we're going to do one tenth of one Bitcoin, so 10% of a Bitcoin, and we can enable our hopper. Once you enable your hopper, your stats will change. We're going to want to reset that to zero. And then we will do the exact same thing for our Ethereum bot. We'll come in here. Now what you're going to do is deposit one Ethereum. 
recommended minimum for Elite is $2,500 worth of Ethereum, but for this demonstration, we're going to deposit one. And then go ahead and reset your stats again as well. If you have not already, make sure to enable your hopper. And now everything is ready to rock and your Elite bots are all set up. Of course, if you're not doing paper trading, you're going to want to deposit Ethereum, Bitcoin, and USDT into either one API key, or if you want to keep the stats separate, you can make separate sub accounts for each one on KuCoin. Coming back after about an hour or so, you can see that the bot bot has already started to make orders. Thanks for joining us. Killer Whale, change the way you trade.